All right, well, uh, here's my latest contraption. Uh, it's a little test bench that I built for flow testing and cleaning CIS fuel injectors because we're getting more and more cars in with CIS issues, older, older Porsches, uh, BMWs, stuff like that. But uh, anyway, uh, went this route, made this sucker instead of uh, the typical little diesel injector that people use, which is a simple little, uh, looks like a pump, uh, which is primarily used for testing diesel injectors. But with this setup, I uh, made it so that I can pressurize the system, have two, six, eight, however many injectors, and uh, be able to flip a valve and they start running at a given pressure. And as that pressure gets depleted, uh, it's replenished by the air compressor that we have here at the shop so I can accurately flow test uh, CIS injectors and also for cleaning, etc. Yada, yada. But uh, anyway, just an overview of the system. Uh, have 120 pound air coming in from our shop airline that we have running throughout the shop. It's a pretty cool system. We uh, hooked it up ourselves. Goes up. Anyway good supply of air all over the place <clears throat> but anyway uh, 120 pound air comes out goes down the airline loops around does its thing comes up comes up to a little air regulator uh, this isn't exactly the regulator that I wanted but I bought it temporarily just to get the system going so I can use it uh, this regulator doesn't accurately uh, maintain the pressure the way that I'd like uh, once you set it here at a given set pressure that you want uh, it tends to rise if you don't secure the air pressure here. Uh, so anyway, comes from the regulator uh, up to the pressure vessel that I built. Uh, the previous one that I built didn't fare so well. It uh, tried to use a aluminum fuel cell uh, for a race car, a little dragster, whatever. But once I got up to 20 psi, it uh, had an issue <clears throat> it uh, exploded so nice little piece of scrap metal nice unit I like it but it uh, <clears throat> kind of sucks but uh, anyway yeah went with this guy instead uh, this stuff is actually rated at 240 psi the PVC so it's well over what I need so it gives a good margin of safety as far as exploding pressure vessels go but uh anyway air pressure comes up goes into the pressure vessel uh, I have a main line or a main uh, ball valve up top for filling uh, use a larger size so less spillage etc but anyway I can secure that when I'm charging the system to build pressure uh, come over here and I have a, a clear line that I use as a uh, little level indicator so I can actually tell when it's depleted and I need to fill it etc etc but uh you know it comes up goes down goes down to the line that I tapped in at the bottom for fuel pickup it goes up to a fuel filter just a standard little fuel filter at the parts store it cost about six seven dollars I think but uh you know it goes up continues goes up to another isolation valve that I have for the injector itself so that I can use that for depressurizing the line uh, changing out injectors etc when uh, if I want to maintain pressure in the pressure vessel without having to depressurize everything uh, just to change out an injector but uh, anyway it goes up from there I have a pressure gauge here for the injector itself so that I can make sure that the pressure the injector sees is what I want versus just pressure at the pressure vessel. And uh, it also gives me good reading or a good indication of how well the fuel filter is working. Uh, if it's getting excessively clogged, I'll obviously see a greater and greater difference between the injector pressure post filter and the pressure going into the pressure vessel. But uh, anyway, up from there, it goes down, goes to a little simple bracket I made just to hold the injector temporarily. I'd eventually like a system where I have six injectors lined up and tied to a manifold so that I can uh, test multiple injectors all at one time. Just crack open the valve, let them rip, uh, crack open the valve, hit a timer, and when that time expires, uh, 
note the reading in the graduated cylinder. Uh, this is a 500 uh, milliliter uh, graduated cylinder that I got from a good friend, Jessica Hubbock. Thank you much. Uh, it'll work sufficiently for what we're trying to do here. But uh, anyway, to uh, demonstrate how this sucker works, right now the system's depressurized. So since I want to fill, I go ahead and make sure the position of the valves are all correct. Shut the isolation for the pressure vessel. Go ahead and shut the valve for the injector because I don't want it to spray yet. But uh, I already have the valve here preset to where I want it just so it's slowly or uh, slightly cracked open. Uh, just so it doesn't go too crazy when I start opening the <coughs> valve up here. But anyway, now that we're all set to go, uh, let's go ahead and start cracking this open and get the pressure up to where I need it. And pressure's rising. I'm going to take it up to 80 PSI. Let's slowly creep up. The CIS injector is standard. They uh, usually open at about 45 PSI, 45 to 50 depending upon the vehicle. Uh, lower horsepower engines obviously need less pressure. So it also depends on the injector itself, the set point when it will open. But uh, all right, we crept up on 80. Go ahead and secure line pressure. Now the pressure vessel is fully pressurized to 80 PSI and it's holding pretty well, right where it should be. But uh, pressurized, going through the fuel filter of the valve. Now let's crack her open and watch this little guy go to town. And camera's not wanting to focus properly. Piece of crap. But uh, there we go. Anyway, can't really see it too well. I need a better background against there so you can see it. <clears throat> but it's this one's obviously biased to one side. Uh, they have little filters inside of them that are not serviceable, so you have to replace the whole injector itself. They usually run about $44, so if you can clean them, if the filter inside of it's not clogged up too much, uh, a simple cleaning will do, but these are so old. They came from a uh, 76 Porsche 911S, uh, so it's over 30 years old, so I'm not really surprised that they're not performing optimally. But uh, anyway, yeah. I can crack that sucker open, sit there and let it run, let it go through all the uh, cleaner that I have. I'm running a mix of uh, primarily kerosene along with a couple of bottles of sea foam. It seems to work pretty good. There's a lot of trash that was getting built up in the bottom of it, but now that I've run it a few times, this injector uh, fluid's coming out, fluid coming out cleaner and cleaner as it goes on. Um, but yeah, there she goes. Yeah. And to secure the system, uh, well actually to back up, uh, something I noticed is that there is quite a bit of difference between the pressure post fuel filter and at the uh, pressure vessel. Uh, right here I'm getting about 70 PSI and the pressure vessel still hovering just a hair below 80. So there's a decent pressure drop uh, between the two. but. Uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and secure completely as the injector slowly bleeds off. And from there, as it bleeds down a little bit, I'll go ahead and start venting the pressure vessel. And she is empty. And yeah, that's it. I can go ahead and disconnect the lines, do what I need to do. Uh, the whole build was about, hmm, I'd say about 120 bucks. <clears throat> Not too bad. A uh, little simple throw together. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching.